Hello and welcome to Teco Product Management. Thank you for choosing our Teco Photo Paper. Through combination and use of Teco RGB ICC color profiles and papers, you will achieve good print results. This short video tutorial will show you how easy it is to install RGB ICC profiles in Adobe Photoshop. Having a look at Photoshop CS4, we explain to you how you can integrate our color profiles into your work routine. First of all, we will show you where to find our paper and profiles on the Internet, on our homepage www.teco-photo.de. Here you will find our wide range of photo papers divided into three sections. Professional portrait, photographer's selection and fine art paper. In order to find the right profile for your Teco photo paper and your printer, you have to click on the desired paper. For this example, we will select our Barrett paper BT270. Select your printer, in our example the Stylus Pro 3800. Now you have a folder on your computer desktop. Unpack it by means of a double click if you have not already done so. The folder also includes a PDF document. Additional information is provided inside. We will refer to this document during this video later on. Please print it out or have it ready on your computer desktop. First we'll have a look at the profile. And we come to an important question. Where are you going to install the profile on your computer? On the system hard drive open the library folder. Then open the color sync folder. You will see the profiles folder. Copy or move the ICC profile to this folder. Before we continue with the following steps, please make sure that the printer driver for your printer is installed on the computer. You can find the driver on the printer manufacturer's website. As mentioned before, we use Adobe Photoshop CS4 as example. We will now show you which settings to make in Photoshop and in the print dialog. Open your photo file in Photoshop. Use Embedded Profile in case a selection menu with a corresponding warning notice appears. In the file menu select Page Setup and select your printer. The next step is to select your desired paper size. Now choose the orientation you want to use, Portrait or Landscape and confirm by clicking the OK button. In the file menu choose Print. You will see the print dialog. Make the following settings. Select your printer again. Now select Color Management on the top right and then Photoshop manages colors. Also select the profile you installed earlier. In order to help you, all Teco profiles start with the letters TC, followed by the printer name and the name of the paper. In our example, TC underscore SP3800 underscore BT270. For the rendering intent, we recommend to use Perceptual. Also select the black point compensation checkbox. Click on the print button on the bottom on the right. The print dialog opens. Select once again your printer and click on the Preferences button. Now you see the Printing Preferences dialog. Now you need the PDF document we mentioned earlier. Please open the document. Here you will find the paper and printer specific settings you need to do next. In our case, Photo BT270 Berit. Back to the print dialog. Now change the setting from Layout to Printer Settings. Under Media Type select the paper type recommended in the document. In our case Premium Semigloss Photo Paper. Also select the Print Quality Superphoto 2880 dpi. In some exceptional circumstances we recommend that you reduce the color density and or adjust the paper thickness settings. This is not necessary in our case as we use Teco Berit paper BT270. By using our example paper at this point, we could start the printing procedure. If you use another sort of paper which needs the setting of color density and paper thickness, then go on like this. Click on the paper config button. For color density, set the color density slider to the value recommended in the PDF document. If the PDF document does not make a recommendation, Leave the setting as it is. For paper thickness, set the paper thickness recommended in the document. If no paper thickness setting is recommended, leave it as it is. Confirm by clicking the OK button. 
In our example with the grid paper BT270, we will leave both settings unchanged. If you make any changes, it's a good idea to save these settings. If you do so, go to Custom Settings. A new dialog opens. Please select a name which can be easily identified. For example, paper name TC underscore BT270 minus SP3800. After printout, let's have a look at the photo. It's nice, isn't it? We, your Teco product management team, hope this video was helpful to you to print out every photo as requested, so that you enjoy your photos even more. If you have any additional questions, please ask your dealer or send us an email to contact at techo.de. Thank you and have fun with your Teco photo paper.